Okay. Um, guess we're gonna go for this. I know it's been, yeah, like always, a hot minute since I last uploaded a video on YouTube. So today what I wanted to do was um, just go ahead and watch the RE3 trailer, give my thoughts and impressions on it, how I'm feeling about it. I know like there's some mixed opinions about, like, say, the redesign of Jill. So here I am. I'm kind of like, okay, cool. You know, I've been sweating RE lately. Let's, let's give this a shot, you know? All right, so here we go then. Okay, so I got the trailer pulled up here, you know, I guess it came out during the state of play. Uh, I'm probably gonna stop a couple of times throughout the video and be like, oh hey, this is here, like if anything like, you know, just like pops out for me, I would like to be like, oh hey, I think it'd be nice. Just to like say like, oh hey, there's this detail over here. So yeah, without ado, let's go ahead. I can't believe it's rated mature. Yeah, I actually kind of like how, hold this down a little bit. I kind of like how they're opening with, like, teasing, like, oh yeah, hey, the RE2 exists in the same time, you know, like, both of these scenarios are happening at the same time. It almost made me think, like, Leon was going to somehow be involved in RE3, like, somehow Jill Valentine, Leon, and Claire, their paths were going to cross in some form. I think that could happen, but maybe it'd be, like, more like Jill is seeing them, but, like, there's no interaction, just Jill seeing them from afar but can't reach them. That's why I get to them doing. I like that to do that with the time just going directly back. <clears throat> Alright, so this part. This part gives me some major RE7 vibes right now, you know? It's obviously the same engine. I am pretty sure it's the same engine. I would hope I know this. Um, this is kind of making me wonder, since it starts off like, you know, like being like, oh yes, what's Jill running from, you know? Um, it makes me wonder if they're going to do something similar like how The Evil Within 2 did, where they actually had, like, you know, the regular third-person mode, and then a first-person perspective released later down the line, or maybe at the same time. I'm actually kind of curious how that could take form, and I would be open to it. I know it would be, like, it'd be a mixed bag while everyone else thinks, but I thought this was definitely something I wanted to stop and, like, speculate. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, then we see Nebulous this for, like, a hot second. It's like, okay, nope. You never hear him really say stars in this trailer. But yeah, they keep the first person to quite a bit here. I know it's possible it's like to drum up like, oh, what's happening? You know, like, oh, put you in the shoes of Jill Valentine. But then we vault over that. That's when it really like gives me the vibe. Like, okay, this could be something here. Nemesis coming in, making Mr. X looking like mm, baby mode. Oh, jeez. I, for I forgot he was that close. Yeah, and then right here. Jill, over here. I know we got like some mixed people, like mixed opinions about Jill Valentine's new look. I'm kind of feeling this. I, I like the new outfit. It looks really good. Um, I don't know if there's any relevance to that necklace that she has that actually has anything to do with her character. I can't remember anything of the actual canon. But yeah, that was something I remember, like just noticed immediately. Uh, but yeah, no. I'm feeling it. I kind of like it. I can understand people don't like it, you know, because nostalgia, like, what they are known Jill Valentine. I think this would be, like, what, maybe the third time they redesigned her? It's still better than RE7 Chris. Let's not talk about RE7 Chris. <clears throat> also, seeing more of the city is something I'm very excited about. Look at this. Ugh. I forget your name, but that's okay. Maybe. Don't look at me like that, alright? I'm not an infected. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two. Okay, gonna stop right here for a minute. Brad, they're making him seem like, you know, it seems like he's gonna have a much bigger role this time around. Uh, similar, I guess, to like Marvin had an RE2 remake. Brad, he was kind of just, you know, panicky in the original RE3, just, you know, running around. And you found him, you talked to him maybe like two times for his demise. Um, this game, it seems like, you know, he's actually like more playing the role of a cop, trying to like keep things situated, like help civilians and such. So I'm curious how they're going to like what they're going to do with him, if they're going to, like, further his character more, like, they're kind of changing him from being, like, the scaredy cat kind of, uh, pilot, to, you know, like, an actual cop. Alright. Stars left in town. They don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, we're stopping a lot here. Yeah, Carlos, I know there's a lot of... That's... The, I, when we talk about Jill being a mixed bag, I know Carlos is, like, a bigger bag, where it's like, okay, I don't know. Um... <clears throat> I'm actually, I'm okay with it. I never was like, okay, um, I was never like the biggest Carlos fan to begin with. He was like, a, he was a nice character. It was cool that we get to play as him for a second, but I think like, I don't know, I'd like this design of him better. But also the good news is for anyone who's like, you know, 
not happy with these, you know, um, redesigns, that if you pre-order the game, you can get the original versions of these characters. So yeah, got options. Star's office has to be in this <clears throat> direction. <clears throat> yeah, when it says it gets worse every night, I'm wondering, like, are we gonna have, like, a couple of days, like, go by in Raccoon City, like, when we see, like, the city progressively get worse as the infection comes out? Um, because Leon and Claire, they kind of drove into the city, and, like, the damage was done. Like, they were here in the aftermath, so we're we gonna see, like, the city slowly become more chaotic over time, and that's when, like, the game really, like, starts. Because the way how that phrased that there kind of made me think that. I don't know if it's just me. All right. They don't want the world to know what they've done. Oh, <clears throat> my head. What's wrong with Umbrella? Get in! I can't stop them all. You gotta get out of there. You guys are the ones who caused all of this. No, 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 wait. Oh, come on. Ah! Yeah, and then show all that chaos there. I don't know why I paused this, sorry. You gotta be dreaming. Okay, hold up. I want to see that again. Ah, I cut it off. Well, let me get that. Let me get that. There we go. Okay, when the, the fact that made a zombie Jill, I'm, I'm thinking of uh, like obviously this is like you know foreshadowing for her character when she gets infected by the nemesis. I'm wondering like I feel like because they designed this also like, I feel like there's gonna be like a hit like a dream segment or something in this game, where like Jill is having like a nightmare of her becoming a zombie and like this is the design we're going to see her as. Like I feel like this is going to show up in game somehow, not just like as the teaser. God, I'm so excited for this freaking game. Is that it? I don't remember if there's more. Okay, no, there's more. Yeah, now we get to, like, a live-action scene. This gave me a little bit of a vibe with, um, the, re the live-action Resident Evil Apocalypse. Yeah, we really don't see much of Nemesis here. <clears throat> I believe there was something else here. I'm pretty sure this is not where I coughed the video here. Oh, right, right. I had opinions about this. So let's hold the phone for a minute. Also, I only was aware of the first four on the right. Who? When did the two on the left show up? I actually wasn't aware that they were a thing. Um, originally, I thought Project Resistance, or I guess now Resident Evil Resistance, was going to be like a solo game, like it's going to be its own thing. But it looks like they kind of changed their mind. They just going to have it included with the RE3 game. I really did not see that coming. I'm wondering, like, could this be uh, they weren't confident in the project? Because the project looked good. I know there was, like, a huge divide in the fan base where people were kind of just, like, screaming, being like, Capcom, you know, they're on a good streak. Now they made Project Resistance. It's not going to be good. It's going to be shit. Because I, cause I guess they have a track record with this. Some of the games have been awful. Um, <clears throat> uh, Operation Raccoon City is definitely, like, mixed reviews. I think the... Uh, bigger one out there would be um, Umbrella Core. That one I don't even think I hear anyone playing. I don't think I've heard any Resident Evil fans that I'm aware, like, I know talk about, like, yes, you gotta get this game. I hope that Project Resistant, Resident Evil Resistance, <laughs> the name is literally right in front of me and I can't remember the name. Okay, yeah, I hope that this actually become a thing, because, I don't know, I like the idea of this, like, 4, 4v1 four kind of style. It gives me, like, a Dead by Daylight vibe, except you actually have, like, the means to defend yourself, where in Dead by Daylight you kind of just, like, okay, gotta hide, repair the gens, and then, yeah. This this seems interesting. It really does interest me. I hope that this can actually, like, become something. Because I would actually like to see, I don't know, it just, it looks interesting to me. Alright. I think there was, was there anything else to add to that, actually? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if I didn't mention this, which I'm pretty sure I did, if any of you guys, anyone have an issue with, you know, Jill Carlos's look, just pre-order the game and look at that. You get the original thing. They look beautiful. Honestly, hmm. I'm not sure how big... I never was, like, the biggest fan of Carlos's design, but I understand people are, like, I don't know. I like the new design, personally. Jill, I like both these designs. They look great. Um, I want more costumes. I would like more costumes, please. Like, maybe, like, a BSA costume. Maybe the, uh, the wetsuit from Revelations for Jill. Like, that would be neat. Carlos, I don't really know what kind of outfits they can go for him. Like, they don't really have much to pull from because he hasn't really shown up in any games besides RE3. I don't even think he has been mentioned... Yeah, I don't think he's been mentioned, like, much outside of the events of RE3, like, in the canon. Like, any, like, newspaper articles or something like that. I think Outbreak characters being referenced more than Carlos. What was the last time, Oliveira? I, if I have that name, if I butchered it, I apologize. Okay, but yeah, I think that's... That should be about it. Yep, now greatness away. It's great. Um, what was the release date? There was a release date that I saw, and I just totally missed it. It was right here. 
April 3rd, the original game came out last year. Well, actually, sorry, this year in January, and it's literally come. This is coming in uh, just a year later. That's that's absolutely crazy to me, and I cannot wait. Basically, this whole video was made because I'm like, okay, I need to get my thoughts out on this. I need just basically like scream this from the heavens. That I'm excited for this game. Jill is my favorite character in the RE series. Um, my personal favorite. <clears throat> It's, it feels like it's been just too long since we've seen a game with her. Um, what was the last game that she was actually starring in it? I, I guess... No, yeah, I'm pretty sure it would be Revelations. I know she was playable in Revelations 2. I don't think she had anything to do in 6. I don't think she like there was any mention of her. But yeah, no, she's basically been MIA as a protagonist since 2012. Unless there's like any comics or books out there that I just don't know where I'm, I'm talking about like, the, the games in particular. I'm hoping that, you know, Resident Evil 3 is like, okay, reintroducing Jill, and then maybe RE8? RE8 maybe gonna have some Jill? I could use some Jill. I would like to see what she's doing present time after the events of RE5, you know? That'd be interesting. Um, yeah, but other than that, I think I kind of, like, exhausted my, like, thoughts on here. I think I gave, like, a good, good amount, I think. I know there's probably more thoughts I'm gonna have, like, once I, like, stop and start editing this. But yeah, um, hope everyone enjoyed the video, and yeah. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Alright, bye now.